You know the smell you get when rain falls on the ground, especially on dry soil. It's called petrichor, and it's a unique, fresh, beautiful fragrance different from any other. In the 1960s, Australian researchers Richard Thomas and Isabel Baer investigated what chemicals petrichor contained. They found it was composed mainly of fatty acids and a compound called geosmin. While the fatty acids in petrichor are produced by plants, geosmin is produced by bacteria in the soil called actinobacteria. Geosmin has such a strong scent that the human nose can detect a few molecules of it in a trillion molecules of air. The fatty acids produced by plants are released into the soil only during long periods of drought, so the smell of petrichor is most noticeable after showers in the middle of summer or early autumn. An unsolved question about petrichor was how its molecules reached our noses from the soil after rain. In 2015, researchers at MIT recorded high-speed footage of the drops falling on the ground. They saw that some of the drops falling on the soil bounced back, forming air bubbles. These micro droplets contained the components of petrichor. In addition, the droplets were so small they formed an aerosol, a suspension of particles in the air. They were then carried on air currents so that the petrichor in them eventually reached our noses. So the mystery was solved. Studies have also shown that the micro droplets form only in light rain. That's why you don't sense the characteristic smell of petrichor after a heavy downpour. Finally, the research on how petrichor reaches us also explains how some diseases caused by bacteria in the soil, such as E. coli, are transmitted by rain.